Today I'll be working on the carb rebuild. Got my carburetor here, I've cleaned it up. Went through and scrubbed a little bit. Probably do a little bit more polishing on the top part and the bottom. I did use pine saw. A friend of mine was telling me about it and I thought I'd try it out. I did not soak it in pine saw, but I did pour some on top, scrub, use a scrub brush and uh, got the inside scrubbed out with this toothbrush, just basically taking it into the pine saw and scrubbing it a little bit and seemed to work fairly well. I did keep it off of the rubber pieces as best as I could so that it wouldn't deteriorate the rubber. I'll start today working on the tops. I'm gonna to pull those out. I think those are in good shape. I've checked them. Pretty much just need a replacement gasket. And then I've got the bottom brass ready. I picked this up just online, <clears throat> got a car rebuild kit. It's got the jets and gaskets, rubber pieces and connectors. I will put those in today. A um, couple of the jets, the main jet and the slow jet, I have a different size than what they sent here. I'll be doing pod filters, so I, I went with a different size. I'll show you that as I get closer, but rather than the stock jet, main jet, which is I think about 90, I went with 115. I'm at high elevation in the mountain states, and that uh, a lot of what I read, people were using 120 for the pod filters. Um, then I saw a little bit, a few notes about high elevation. You might need to try 15, so I'm starting at 115. But uh, yeah, so today I'll work on the top and uh, get the gaskets replaced and go from there. The top part. I've already opened these up to make sure they're they're pretty clean inside. So the screws are just in a little bit. Open that up. You can see inside is in pretty good shape. This gasket though, I don't know if it's been rebuilt ever, but I don't think it's gonna hurt to replace that. See my replacement gasket appears to be really close fit. Couple, there's only one hole difference and I don't think it's even gonna matter. And for the top, that's about as simple as it's gonna be. So I will do time lapse for the rest of the top and we'll move on to the bottom. For those of you that know what you're doing, you probably saw this right away, but I did have to adjust these gaskets that came. They were missing a hole. And so I had to go through and, and screw that hole in. In fact, you can see here, I'm taking this back off. I It was a little bit challenging to find the exact fit, but I did get it taken care of. I, I used a small drill, put it in there, I, was, I started small and worked towards a bigger hole so that I didn't have too much gap in my, in my gasket. But after I got that fixed, it was easy. Went back in there, uh, a really easy connection. Like I said, if I need to later, I'll jump back inside here and really take this apart to, to replace the or, or adjust the needle jet. As you open that up, you can see I've got that. A little bit of grime in that one. The same over here. So I'll have to take this float off, get it cleaned out inside. I'll do the same in each one of those. I'm going to start with just some carb cleaner. I'll spray it off camera here, see if I can get it cleaned up. Cleaned up a bit. I might give a little bit of that pine saw and just make sure I don't have any gunk left in there. Okay, that clip, I was worried it wouldn't come out. It was a little corroded around the edges. And this is my worst piece, if I remember right. 
but uh, just pressed a little bit with the small screwdriver. Got it started easily. It's not wanting to come the rest of the way. There you go. So that clip slides in just inside that float. And you can see I've got just a bit of a mess I need to take care of in there. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it out with car cleaner. I'll try that. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. All right, you can see the, the caps off of each of these. Um, it's interesting, carbs one and two appear to be a lot more corroded and dirtier than carbs three and four. Um, even with that, I'm gonna get them all cleaned out. I will, I probably will do just a little bit of that pine saw scrubbing. I'm not gonna soak it, a lot of people soak it online, but I'm just gonna do a bit of scrubbing. I'm gonna make sure my pieces are in there, but I'll scrub the inside here as well as the inside here. Um, as I've got it laid out, I believe it's important to get them put back in there on the same carb setup. And so I'm gonna do my best to keep them in this lineup. Um, the tops of these are also marked. So that helps, this is three or four. And this says three or four. And you've got carb two, which has this valve on it, so that's easy. And then carb one faces the other way. But for the floats and the pins, I'm going to keep them laid out in this order so that I can try to get them back, back together as smoothly as possible. Okay, off camera, I was able to get those cleaned up and now I'm gonna go through and replace the jets and the parts that came with my rebuild. Um, you know, that top segment, it did have the lower portion of it. So I, I screwed that out, cleaned out some of the gunk and uh, put it back in there has a spring attached that I think will connect quite easily. But you can see I do the knee, or excuse me, the slow jet. I have to pound that a little bit. The manual said not to take that out, but I wanted it to get a bigger size, and so I did pull it out. It actually came out really easily with some needle nose pliers. But uh, put that in, and then you can see in the middle of the screen, the highest piece on there is the main jet. Those are very easy. Um, it's a two-piece uh, two piece unit, and the bottom part unscrews from the top part. And easy as that, you can switch that out for a clean and new of stock size where I did a little bit bigger. But here we, here we are just wrapping that up. You can see here again, I'm working on the main jet right now. So I had this a little fast. I was hoping, uh, it took me a long time to do this rebuild. This is my first time, like I said, I've, that I've ever done this. But I did wanna show just all the little bits that went into it. And, and so here, Sliding those floats back on was actually quite easy. Honestly, the hardest part of reassembling this was getting uh, getting the gasket to, to stay attached as I screwed it in. But overall, not bad. Um, I'm hoping it turns out really well. We'll see when I start to ride it. I'll now start working on the bottom. You can see I've got it cleaned up pretty well. Um, I've opened these, I need to, I'll need to clean them a little bit. So I've got a few parts that I'll replace. I'll, I'm going to work through all the brass pieces, but I'll open this up, show you what it looks like, and then get it cleaned up. So I've got the carbs put back together. Get the top here, polished up, cleaned out. Obviously not perfect, but I think it's gonna look great on there. I didn't take it all the way apart. You know, I left all four together, but I got it scrubbed out pretty well. I'll leave these even though they're a little bit a little corroded bottom segment. Uh, in the rebuild, I replaced most of the copper component or all the, most of the brass components inside. I didn't uh, replace <clears throat> the needle jets in here, mostly because I think there's going to be some some adjusting as I figure out the the altitude and the pods, everything together. So I left them in here, knowing that I'll likely take this take these off and probably mess with the needle jet settings anyhow. So I'll do it. I'll replace those at that time. Um, I do have the remaining here. For the main jet, I looked up what to put, what to start with. For the main jet, I did 115 and I did replace 
the slow jet. For the slow jet, I did a 40. Um, I'm getting the, I, I'm going for the first round. I used, I actually found a cool blog. This guy, uh, I think he does, probably does a ton of this stuff. He seems to know a lot more than I do about any sort of mechanical motor, motorcycle stuff, but uh, chin on the tank. He's, he's got a 79 and he's done some cool things with it. So um, copied some of that so that I could do my best guess for the first pass. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching this. You know, like I've said on all this, I'm a beginner, um, kind of fun to do. First time doing a carburetor rebuild. So here I am, I'm just polishing this off. I think this is gonna look great on my Cafe Racer project. So thanks for watching and best of luck. Hope this video was helpful for you.